hello friends welcome to take dose and in this video i will be showing you the difference between user mode and kernel mode if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please do so because i will be uploading this type of videos in future as well so let us get started the first point of difference between user mode and kernel mode is that user mode has private virtual address space while the kernel mode has only a single address space so what does this mean if you can remember the block diagram of a main memory then it looks something like this and here we have some space for OS and the rest of the spaces for the user processes okay so if we create any process suppose we have a text editor and we have just opened it then it will require some space in the main memory and that will be allotted in the user process space okay now this is the virtual address space of this text editor and if suppose some other process is also running in this user space then this cannot assess any part of this process and this also cannot assess the operating system space okay so this user process is restricted to its own area and so we say that a user mode process has a private virtual address space while if we see a kernel mode process suppose we want to write something to our disk then we call the write system call and that leads to a context switch from user mode to kernel mode okay from user mode to kernel mode and that kernel then interacts with the hardware and carries out the required operation so how does the kernel do it the kernel has access to every part of this space and so it can assess the operating system any number of process running or any blank memory therefore it looks like a single virtual address space because no matter where the space is a kernel mode process can assess that space okay now the second difference is user mode processes are less privileged while the kernel mode processes are highly privileged so you can see here that the user mode processes cannot directly interact with the hardware okay suppose we have a hardware and a user pro user mode then a kernel mode okay now the user mode process cannot directly interact with the hardware it has to create a system call that will change mode from user mode to kernel mode and then since kernel has access to each and every address space and it also acts as an interface between hardware and the kernel mode itself then it can interact with the hardware okay so we can say that a kernel mode is highly privileged because it can assess any part of the area any memory and it it also has access to hardwares as well the third point of difference is that exception and errors can crash only particular application in case of user mode while it can crash the entire OS in case of a kernel mode. Because in user mode, a process is only restricted to its own virtual address space. So whatever it does, it will do only within its own virtual address space and so if anything goes wrong, then that application will only crash instead of crashing the entire system while in the kernel mode since this entire area since this entire area is treated as a single address space so if anything goes wrong then this whole address space will go down and in turn the entire operating system will crash so a kernel mode is highly privileged and is very sensitive and should be used with care so these are the differences between user mode and kernel mode if you have any more points of difference then please comment below in order to help our channel please subscribe to it and like our video if this was helpful stay tuned for more such updates thank you